Ayan. Uh, hello guys. Um, dito naman tayo sa next set ng Mat Wizard Technique number 2. So, nung last time, pinag-aralan natin is all about uh, comparing fractions the fastest way. Ngayon naman, uh, ang pag-aaral natin is all about getting the sum of the set of numbers, even or odd, the fastest way pa din. So, first example, what is the sum of the first 100 numbers? So, kung kunin natin manually yung sum ng first 100 numbers, it would take us time. So, ang gagawin natin, ang gagawin natin is, ano yung technique? Ano yung technique na gagawin natin for us to solve the problem the fastest way? So, for example, binigyan ka lang ng 30 seconds. 30 seconds, what is the sum of the first 100 numbers? So, how are you going to solve the problem in just a short span of time. So, ang gagawin natin, ganito. So, pwede natin siyang i-write this way. 1 plus 2 plus 3 dot 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 plus 98 plus 99 plus 100. So, itong technique na to, uh, mag apply siya kapag paras yung interval. Yan. Paras yung interval ng mga numbers. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, yung interval nila is 1, 1, and so on. So, ano yung solution natin? So, ang solution natin ganito, alamin natin kung ano yung first term. So, yung first term natin is 1, and then, ano yung last term natin? So, yung last term natin is 100. Ang gagawin lang natin is, we're going to add the first term and the last term. So, 1 plus 100, we have 101. So, after that, after nating i-add, yung first term at saka yung last term, ang gagawin natin, aalamin natin, ilang pair ilang pair meron from 1 to 100. Okay? So, bakit ito yung solution natin? Kasi we all know that, pansinin natin, 1 plus 100 is 101. 2 plus 99 is 101. 3 plus 98 is 101. So, kung magkukontinue yung pattern, we'll get the same result. Same pa din yung sagot. So, ang aim natin, malaman natin ilang pair, ilang pares meron. So, through analyzation, ang pair natin is 50. May 50 na pares from 1 to 100. So, ang gagawin natin, multiply natin sila. 101 times 50 is 5,050. So, therefore, ang sagot natin, so if getting the sum from 1 to 100 is 5,050. Okay? Oh, next example tayo. What is the sum of the first 50 even numbers? So, can be written also this way. 2 plus 4 plus 6, that, 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 plus 96, plus 98, plus 100. So, pansinin natin, magkakapareha sila ng interval. Anong solution natin? Aalamin natin kung ano yung first term, at saka ano yung last term natin. So, yung first term natin is 2, at saka yung last term natin is 100. Ia-add lang natin yung dalawang number. 2 plus 100 is 102. Okay? After that, Alamin natin ilang pair, ilang pares meron. Okay? So, by analyzation, ang pares natin is mayroong 25 pairs. So, 102 times 25 is 2,550. So, therefore, the sum of the first 50 even numbers is 2,550. Our next example. Ayan, so try nyo yan. What is the sum? the first 100 odd numbers. Bibigyan ko lang kayo ng 15 seconds. Okay, time's up. So, ano yung solution natin? Alamin natin yung first, first term at yung last term. We add them, at yung result, multiply natin kung ilang pair sila. So, 10,000. Paras ba tayo ng sagot? 10,000 din ba sagot nyo? Okay, so therefore, ang sagot ay 10,000. So, i-summarize lang natin ang pinag-aralan natin. Matiknik number 2, getting the sum of a set of numbers, even or odd, the fastest way. So, ano lang ang gagawin natin? Add the first term and the last term, and then multiply it to the number of pairs. Paano kung ganito? Paano kung meron isang 
number na wala siyang pares. So, so anong gagawin natin kapag uh, hindi equal yung number of pairs? So, ang gagawin natin, i-add lang yung first term, ganun pa din, saka yung last term, i-add natin siya, and then multiplied to the number of pairs. Tapos, yung sagot natin, i-add natin doon sa middle number. Para makuha natin yung correct answer. Ayan.